Hi everyone, it is me, your Ukrainian teacher Olya here. I'm glad to see you. I'm super pumped for the topic we are going to talk about today because we are going to learn 15 ways to say хороший, meaning good in Ukrainian, without actually saying хороший. We are going to think of 15 synonyms for the word хороший because, I mean, when you say хороший, дуже хороший, very good, не дуже хороший, not very good, um, не такий вже і хороший, not so good, хороший, хороший, хороший. Uh, well, that is nice. People will understand you. However, you will agree with me that that sounds a bit dry. And we don't really want to sound dry. We want to spice our vocabulary up as much as we can and that is why we gathered here today to have this class so i'm super pumped i'm super excited but traditionally before we start learning i would like to take a moment to appreciate my patrons the people who are supporting my channel financially and who are helping me greatly to find the time in my day to dedicate to filming this video some of them can be truly time consuming but i'm happy to be able to make them for you i truly enjoy that so yeah you can see the names of some of these wonderful people on your screens and if you would like to join them i will leave the link to my patreon down below as well as somewhere here so that you can easily find it and join them i will leave the links to all of my other social media you might be interested in as well down below and yeah with my patrons also i am sharing the materials that i've been using in my uh, videos for i think around a year or a year and a half such as this particular presentation for instance so if you are interested in being able to download my materials you are welcome they are available for all my patrons and now we can finally start learning so again as i mentioned in the beginning of the video good means хороший 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 in ukrainian so for instance сьогодні я в хорошому настрої Сьогодні я в хорошому настрої. Today I am in a good mood. Настрій means mood. Сьогодні я в хорошому настрої. Це хороша книга. This is a good book. Хороша книга. Good book. Який хороший сьогодні день? Який хороший сьогодні день? What a good day it is today. An exclamation mark would really look good in the end of this sentence. Який хороший сьогодні день. What a good day it is today. Roberto хороший друг. Roberto is a good friend. Okay, хороший друг, good friend. So, what other adjectives do we have in Ukrainian that are close in meaning that are synonyms for the adjective хороший, good? First of all, чудовий, 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 meaning excellent, very good, marvelous, awesome. So, чудовий is a bit better than just good, okay, just, than just хороший. Okay, for instance, ваші результати цього місяця просто чудові. Ваші результати цього місяця просто чудові. Чудові. Ваші результати, meaning your results, цього місяця, this month, просто чудові, are just awesome, just excellent, very good, чудові. Another instance. Чудова робота. Я дуже задоволений результатом. Чудова робота. Я дуже задоволений результатом. Чудова робота, meaning good job, great job, better than good, right? Чудова робота. Я дуже задоволений результатом. I am very satisfied with the result. I am very happy with the result. Я дуже задоволений результатом. Another instance. Чудова пісня. Не перемикай. Чудова пісня. A wonderful, a great, excellent song. I love this song. That's a very good song. Чудова пісня. Не перемикай. Don't turn it off. Don't, don't change it, right? Don't change it to another song. Чудова пісня. Не перемикай. Let's take a look at another adjective. Прекрасний. Прекрасний. Прекрасний meaning beautiful, fine, amazing. Also very, very good, very good. Let's take a look at some instances. 
у вас такі прекрасні діти. So you can say that about somebody's appearance, right? Or uh, to say that somebody has a beautiful, wonderful personality. Okay? У вас такі прекрасні діти. You have such beautiful, such amazing kids. Children, діти, right? У вас такі прекрасні діти. Your children are so beautiful, so wonderful. Сьогодні прекрасна погода. Може, прогуляємось? Сьогодні прекрасна погода. The weather today is amazing. Прекрасна погода. Погода means weather. Може, прогуляємось? Maybe we shall go for a walk. Може, прогуляємось? Сьогодні прекрасна погода. Може, прогуляємось? Another instance. Прекрасна сукня. Чудово виглядаєш. Прекрасна сукня. Beautiful dress or amazing dress. Чудово виглядаєш. You look amazing, right? So, чудово here is um, not an adjective but an adverb, right? So, you look great. Чудово виглядаєш. You look amazing. Чудово виглядаєш. Прекрасна сукня. Прекрасна in this case is an adjective. And we are talking about adjectives in this video. So the next one is positive. Позитивний. Позитивний. Позитивний can also be sometimes used instead of good in a sentence. For instance, читання має позитивний вплив на мозок людини. Читання має позитивний вплив на мозок людини. So, читання means reading, that's a gerund here. Має позитивний вплив means has a positive influence or affects positively. Uh, in Ukrainian we can say має позитивний вплив, has a positive effect. На мозок людини, on a human's brain, right? Читання має позитивний вплив на мозок Людини. Another instance. Вони очікують лише позитивної відповіді, але остаточне рішення за тобою. Вони очікують лише позитивної відповіді, але остаточне рішення за тобою. Вони очікують, means they expect, лише позитивної відповіді. Only a positive answer. Позитивна відповідь means positive answer. Лише means only or just. So they only expect for a positive answer. Але, but, остаточне рішення, the final decision, Остаточне рішення means final decision. Рішення means decision. За тобою. Is on you. Okay? Is up to you. Is yours. In this case. We can translate it like this. Okay? So, they are only expecting the positive answer. But the final decision is for you. Another instance. Для того, щоб отримати... Позитивний результат потрібно ще багато працювати. Для того, щоб отримати позитивний результат, потрібно ще багато працювати. Для того, щоб, means in order to, okay? отримати позитивний результат – Receive a positive result. Okay, you have a good result. Потрібно in this case uh, means is required. Ще багато працювати, a lot of work. Okay, so a lot of work is still required in order to have a positive result. Для того, щоб отримати позитивний результат, потрібно ще багато працювати. Багато працювати means to work a lot. Okay, so there is a need to work a lot still 
in order to have a positive result. So, another adjective you can use instead of good, when it's suitable, of course, is positive. Positivny. 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 Number four. Bliskuchy. 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 Means also excellent, brilliant, wonderful. So, literally, uh, the word means shiny, right? Uh, for instance, bliskucha moneta, a shiny um, coin, okay? But we can also uh, use this uh, adjective figuratively to say that something is excellent, brilliant, very, very good, okay? Uh, for instance, vin vyslovlyuvav odnu bliskuchu ideju za inshoyu. Vin vyslovlyuvav odnu bliskuchu ideju za inshoyu. Vin vyslovlyuvav means he expressed or he um, articulated, right? Odnu bliskuchu ideju za inshoyu. One brilliant idea after another. So, the man was on fire. He was generating um, brilliant ideas one after the other. Vin vyslovlyuvav, he expressed. Odnu bliskuchu ideju, one brilliant idea after the other. Za inshoyu, right? Vin vyslovlyuvav, odnu bliskuchu ideju, za inshoyu. Bliskucha ideja, excellent idea, brilliant idea, genius idea, great. Another instance. Bliskuchy rezultat. Ja w zachwati. Bliskuchy rezultat. Ja w zachwati. Bliskuchy rezultat. Excellent result. Ja w zachwati. I am amazed. I am in awe. I love it, right? Ja w zachwati. Bliskuchy rezultat. Wonderful, excellent, brilliant result. Another instance. Bliskucha dopovit. Jak to bi cev dalosia? Bliskucha dopovit. Brilliant report. Jak to bi cev dalosia? How did you manage? Jak to bi cev dalosia? How did you manage? So bliskucha dopovit. Uh, excellent, brilliant report. Bliskucha rezultat. Excellent, brilliant result. Bliskucha idea. Brilliant idea. Bliskuchi. Bliskuchy. Bliskuchy. Next, to say perfect, ideal, in Ukrainian, we would say idealny. 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 Very similar to ideal, right? For instance, ja vazhaju, ce idealny variant dla nas. Ja vazhaju, I think, or in my opinion, ce Idealny variant. This is a perfect option. Variant means option. Dla nas, for us. Ja vazhaju, ce idealny variant dla nas. I think, or in my opinion, this is a perfect option for us. For instance, you are choosing a house, right? Or a car, maybe. Another instance. U Stepana i Svitlany idealna simja. Vone u se robljat razom. U Stepana i Svitlany idealna simja. Vone u se robljat razom. Okay, so u Stepana i Svitlany idealna simja. Stepan i and Svitlana have a perfect family. Idealna simja means a perfect family. Vone use robljat razom. They do everything together, right? Idealna simja, perfect family. We know that nobody is perfect and no family is perfect, but sometimes if we look at some families, it seems that they are perfect. But we know that nobody is perfect. Nihto ne idealni. Nihto ne idealni. Nobody is perfect, right? Another instance. Ne czekaj idealnoho momentu. Robi szczoś uże zaraz. Very motivational. Ne czekaj idealnoho momentu. Don't wait for the perfect moment. 
Роби щось уже зараз. Do something right now. Already right now. Okay? So don't wait for a perfect moment. Роби щось уже зараз. Do something right now. Okay? So, to say perfect, to say ideal in Ukrainian, we say ідеальний. Ідеальний. Ідеальний варіант, a perfect option, ідеальна сім'я, a perfect family, ідеальний момент, a perfect moment, or ideal moment. Next, number six, геніальний, геніальний, meaning brilliant, also excellent, very good, very smart, right? Геніальний comes from гені, genius, right? So something a genius would say or do. Геніальний. For instance, послухайте Віктора. У нього, як на мене, геніальний план. Послухайте Віктора. Listen to Віктор. Listen to what he has to say. Послухайте Віктора. У нього, як на мене, геніальний план. У нього, як на мене, геніальний план. He has, as for me, or if you ask me, a brilliant plan. Okay? Геніальний план. A brilliant plan. Okay? So, як на мене, here we inserted this um, little expression. It means, as for me, or in my opinion, or I think, I feel like... And if you don't know how to express your opinion, how to say as for me, in my opinion, you might want to watch my other video. I will leave the link to it somewhere here, if you're interested. Another instance. Taras Shevchenko, geniální ukrajinský poet. Taras Shevchenko, geniální ukrajinský poet. Taras Shevchenko is a brilliant, like very talented, very smart, brilliant ukrainsky poet, Ukrainian poet. Taras Shevchenko, genialny ukrainsky poet. So, genialny plan, a brilliant plan, genialny poet, a brilliant poet, genialna idea, brilliant idea, etc., etc., So, to say brilliant in Ukrainian, we say геніальний. 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 Next, number seven. Extraordinary in Ukrainian means надзвичайний. Надзвичайний. So, звичайний means ordinary, normal, usual, okay? And the prefix над gives it the meaning of above, right? Above um, ordinary, above average, above usual, okay? So, not zwyczajny, extraordinary, better than ordinary, right? So, for instance, це був надзвичайний виступ. Глядачі аплодували стоячи. Це був надзвичайний Виступ. This was, or it was, an extraordinary performance. Like, very well done, right? Great performance. Глядачі аплодували стоячи. Глядачі means um, the viewers or the observers, the public. Let's, let's call them that way. Аплодували стоячи gave a standing ovation, right? Аплодувати стоячи means to give a standing ovation, to applause while standing, right? So, це був надзвичайний виступ. Глядачі аплодували стоячи. Another instance. Його надзвичайний голос вразив публіку. Його надзвичайний голос вразив публіку. His extraordinary voice amazed the public, the audience, right? So, his extraordinary voice amazed the public, вразив публіку. 
Надзвичайний голос – extraordinary voice. Надзвичайний виступ – extraordinary performance. Надзвичайна книга – extraordinary book. Надзвичайна думка – extraordinary thought or extraordinary idea. Etc. Etc. You can use this um, adjective with many nouns. Надзвичайний. 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 Next. Незрівняний. Незрівняний. Незрівняний means incomparable, right? Something so good that it can't or shouldn't be compared to others, right? Others cannot touch it, right? It, it was so good. Incomparable. Незрівняний. Very good, wonderful, incomparable. For instance, Галина незрівнянна танцюристка. Її рухи зачаровують. Галина незрівнянна танцюристка. Галина is an extraordinary, incomparable, very nice, very talented, great танцюристка, dancer. Її рухи зачаровують. Uh, her moves uh, sort of put a, a spell on you, or uh, her moves are hypnotizing, right? So, Helena is an incomparable dancer. Her moves are hypnotizing. Next instance. Його незрівнянна вистава зірвала гучні оплески. Його незрівнянна вистава Зірвала гучні оплески. Його незрівнянна вистава means his incomparable play. Вистава means play. Зірвала гучні оплески. Broke a loud applause. Зірвала гучні оплески. Оплески means applause. Гучні in this case means loud. Okay? So, його незрівнянна вистава зірвала гучні оплески. Another instance. У Степана незрівнянний смак. Він одягається дуже елегантно. У Степана незрівнянний смак. Він одягається дуже елегантно. So, um, у Степана незрівнянний смак means Степан has an incomparable taste. Or we can translate it into English as a sense of style, right? Смак. Він одягається дуже елегантно. He dresses very elegantly, right? У Степана незрівнянний смак. Степан has an incomparable sense of style. Taste. Він одягається дуже елегантно. He dresses very elegantly. Okay, so незрівнянна танцюристка, an incomparable dancer. Незрівнянна вистава, incomparable play. Незрівнянний смак incomparable um, taste or sense of style незрівнянна книга an incomparable book незрівнянний виступ incomparable performance незрівнянне мистецтво an incomparable art incomparable picture незрівнянна картина okay and number 9 is also one um, sophisticated um, adjective the one you don't want here very often in spoken Ukrainian. Neperevershenny. 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 Unsurpassed. Amazing. Brilliant. So, perevershete somebody means to beat somebody at something, to do much better, right? To show much better result, to have a way better talent, etc., etc. So, if something is Неперевершений, it means that something is so good that nobody has beat it, nobody has surpassed it, okay? Неперевершений, amazing, brilliant. So, for instance, її неперевершена краса вразила усіх. Її неперевершена краса вразила усіх. Її неперевершена краса. Her unsurpassed, her amazing, her breathtaking even beauty. Краса means beauty. Вразила усіх impressed everyone. Made an impression on everyone. Okay? Її неперевершена краса вразила усіх. 
Another instance – Богдан Ступка – неперевершений український актор. Well, that is a statement that some people would argue with. Uh, so, again, Богдан Ступка – a name. Uh, Богдан – a name. Ступка is a surname. Неперевершений український актор is unsurpassed, a brilliant Ukrainian actor, right? So, uh, неперевершена краса – unsurpassed, uh, breathtaking beauty. Uh, неперевершений актор – unsurpassed, amazing, unbeatable, brilliant actor. Uh, неперевершений танец – amazing, brilliant, breathtaking dance. Неперевершена актриса, неперевершений адвокат, etc., etc. So, неперевершений, неперевершений. Next, number 10, неймовірний, неймовірний, неймовірний. So, іняти віру means to have a belief, right? To believe in something. So, if something is неймовірний, it means it's Unbelievable, excellent, unreal, hard to believe something is that good, okay? Unbelievable. For instance, Дякую, що порадив мені Дон Кіхота. Це просто неймовірна книга. Дякую, що порадив мені Дон Кіхота. Це просто неймовірна книга. Дякую, що порадив мені Thank you for recommending me. Don Quixote. Don, Don uh, Quixote. Це просто неймовірна книга. This is a simply unbelievable book. Дякую, що порадив мені Don Quixote. Це просто неймовірна книга. Another instance. У її словах була неймовірна сила. У її словах була неймовірна сила. Uh, in her words there was an unbelievable power. Okay, or in English we can rephrase it saying like her words were unbelievably powerful or there was an unbelievable power in her words. Right? So, неймовірна сила, unbelievable power, неймовірна книга, unbelievable, excellent, unreal book, неймовірна ідея, excellent, unbelievable idea, неймовірний талант, unbelievable, excellent, unreal talent, etc. Неймовірний, неймовірний, неймовірний. Another instance, вражаючий. Вражаючий. Вражаючий means striking. Impressive. Okay? Impression means враження. So something that is impressive is вражаючий. Вражаючий. For instance, радіо принесло нову вражаючу звістку. Радіо принесло нову вражаючу звістку. Радіо принесло means the radio brought or delivered. Нову вражаючу звістку. A new striking um, звістка means either news or um, report, right? So, um, the radio uh, delivered a new striking um, report. So, вражаючий can mean something positive, right? But also negative, because the impression can be positive and negative. Another instance – ого, вражаюче видовище. Гори – це неймовірно красиво. Ого means wow, that's how we say wow in Ukrainian. Ого, вражаюче видовище. Impressive view. Вражаюче видовище. Гори – це неймовірно красиво. Mountains – are unbelievably beautiful, right? Wow! Ого! Вражаюче видовище. Impressive view. Гори – це неймовірно красиво. Mountains are unbelievably beautiful. Вражаючий. Вражаючий. Striking. Impressive. Another one, number 12. Дивовижний. Дивовижний. Дивовижний means great, amazing, marvelous. Because to say marvel 
or miracle in Ukrainian, we have a word divo. Divo. Okay, so some, if something is divo vizhny, it's marvelous or miraculous, a great, amazing, divo vizhny, divo vizhny. For instance, yaka divo vizhna kartina. Yaka divo vizhna kartina. What a marvelous picture. Yaka divo vizhna kartina. Another instance. Novini obletili naše misto z divovizhnoyu švidkistu. Novini obletili naše misto z divovizhnoyu švidkistu. Novini means the news. Obletili naše misto means, obletili means flew around or something, but that's to say that they were spread, the news were spread. Naše misto, our town, z divovizhnoyu švidkistu, with an amazing speed, with a marvelous speed, okay, with great speed. Uh, so very fast, very quickly, right? So, novini obletili naše misto z divovizhnoyu švidkistu. So, divovizhna kartina, amazing, marvelous picture. Divovizhna švidkist, great, marvelous speed. Okay? Divovizhny, divovizhny, great, amazing, marvelous. And number 13. So we started with more or less commonly used word, then we moved on to more sophisticated, not very spoken, not very colloquial, more sophisticated type uh, of adjectives. And now finally we end up with a slang sort of word, very commonly used, very nice, very useful, I think. So kruti. Kruti. That's the thing about slang that it takes the words and changes its literally meaning and, and I used figuratively, right? So, um, s literally, kruti translates as steep. So, something that's falling or raising uh, at a sharp angle, right? We can say, uh, for instance, uh, kruti hill, the uh, steep uh, hill. Or a uh, kruti povorot, the curve could be kruti also uh, on a road, okay? But we can use this word kruti to say cool, okay? So we say that somebody is kruti when they are very serious, when they are of great power and authority. When we can also say that somebody is kruti when they have a lot of money or they dress very fashionably, you know? somebody that's cool also we can say that some item is a uh, kruti uh, like a kruta mashina right or kruti budinok like a cool house or cool um car so the word kruti is very widely very commonly used amongst ukrainians again don't forget it's slang so um you keep it for informal situations uh, for instance, ти запросила Івана на день народження? Ні, він і так не прийде. Він же тепер крутий. Ти запросила Івана на день народження? Did you invite Ivan to your birthday? Ні, він і так не прийде. Він же тепер крутий. No, he wouldn't come anyway. He is cool now. Okay, too cool for school, too cool for my birthday party. So I didn't invite him anyway. I know he wouldn't come anyway. Okay, ти запросила Івана на день народження? Ні, він і так не прийде. Він же тепер крутий. Another instance. Ти бачила, яка у Оксани крута тачка? Ти бачила, яка у Оксани крута тачка? Did you see... Um, what a cool car Oksana has. Tachka is uh, also a slang uh, word for um, car. Okay. Ty bachala jaka u Oksany kruta tachka. Okay, so Ivan kruti. Ivan is too cool for school. Uh, the car can be cool. Uh, kruta tachka. Kruti budinok. Kruta suknia. Kruti jeansy. Uh, kruti chlopec. Kruta divchina. Kruti druzi. Etc. Etc. Number 14. Klasny, klasny, klasny. Okay, klasny also is a slang for cool, awesome, 
great. Okay, классный. For instance, новые джинсы. Так, дуже классный. Новые джинсы, new jeans. Так, yes, дуже классный. Uh, very cool or super cool. Uh, so we can also say дуже крути, right? Very cool. Дуже крути джинсы. Another instance. Я давно знаю Оксану. Вона классна. Я давно знаю Оксану. Вона классна. I know Оксана for a while, for a long time. Вона классна. She's cool. She's awesome or she's great. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. Оксана классна. Оксана is cool. And джинсы классные. The jeans are cool. Again, классный будинок, cool house, классна машина, cool car, etc. So, классный и крутый, as you understood, are synonyms. And in many ways, they are interchangeable. However, uh, we say крутый also about people of um, money, authority, uh, too cool for school, you know. And классный, we just say to approve of somebody, to say that something is cool, awesome, great. Okay, and the last one, number 15, is офигенный, 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 also means cool, awesome, but again, some people might find this offensive, so it's sort of on the edge of being profanity, okay, so again, remember that it's a slang and should be kept for only informal situations, okay. Uh, классный и крутый are slang, but they don't have this uh, profanity touch to them. Офигенный, however, has, okay? So, with that in mind, let us take a look at some instances. Um, first one. Ты голодна? Я знаю тут одне офигенне кафе. Ты голодна? Я знаю тут одне офигенне кафе. Ты голодна? Are you hungry? Я знаю тут... I know here, одне офигенне кафе, one cool, awesome cafe, okay, so are you hungry? I know uh, an awesome cafe here, a very cool cafe here, офигенне кафе. Another instance, ми сьогодні ходили на такий офігенний фільм, хочу подивитись його ще раз. Ми сьогодні ходили на такий офігенний фільм. Хочу подивитись його ще раз. Ми сьогодні ходили, so today we went, на такий офігенний фільм for such an awesome movie. Хочу подивитись його ще раз. I, I want or I'd like to see it once again. Ще раз means once again. Okay, so офигенный фильм, офигенное кафе, офигенная девчина, офигенный хлопец, офигенный друг, very cool, awesome friend, um, офигенная тачка, very cool, awesome car, офигенный, офигенный. Ofihenni. And that is all I wanted to tell you in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn Ukrainian together. And stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be 10 plus ways to say bad. So yeah, looking forward to filming that one and I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye!